micro cars. We love them here at Fully Charged. We reckon they are one of the best ways to get a couple of people across the city safely and while staying warm and dry. But the problem with most micro cars is they're not especially plush. 15 minutes of driving and a couple of nasty speed bumps and you find yourself wishing that you were in something a little less micro and a bit more car, if you know what I mean. What we could ideally do with then is a micro car offering that offers a level of comfort and squash closer to that of a full-size car. And if in addition to that it had some sort of groundbreaking patented swappable battery tech, that'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? None of any? If you like the Fully Charged Show, then you'll love our live events. Next up, we're in Amsterdam for Fully Charged Live Europe on the 24th, 25th and 26th of November. Get your tickets today. Ah, another day, another micro car. Welcome, folks, to the Silence SO4. You may have heard of Silence, Spanish company specialising in electric mopeds up until now and building them in quite some number. They just opened a new factory in Barcelona that can build 10,000 electric mopeds a year. And I think at one point, almost half of all electric motorbikes on the roads in Spain were made by Silence. I've actually ridden a Silence S01. In fact, there's a video on the Everything Electric channel of me taking my bike license while trying to review it, which turned out to be exactly as dumb an idea as it sounds. But not content with building two and three wheeled stuff, they've moved up to four wheels and this is their first effort. And what we have here is roughly what I described in the intro, a L7e category micro car, which claims to have superior comfort, performance and range to most of its micro car rivals, while also featuring Silence's excellent patented removable battery tech. So is it any good? Is this the micro car for you? Does it feel more car than its rivals? Let's find some bumpy streets and find out. Now, speedy tour of some important details around the exterior of the Silence SO4. Very quickly, let's talk about the design because I think it's quite an interesting looking thing. Given that some micro cars literally just look like golf buggies, it's always nice to see a brand apply a little bit of design to what they've created. These angular DRLs at the front, a bit reminiscent of the Vauxhall Mocha, and I mean that in a good way. I like it in white as well. Cute and dinky, still very small, 2.3 meters long, 1.3 meters wide. It feels so small on the road. The road feels so big when you're driving it, and that's a really blissful feeling. All of a sudden, you've got a whole racetrack to play with. You're not squeezing down narrow roads. You're picking your line like a racing driver. And then let's just talk about these removable batteries, because this is this is good. This is exciting. Battery on either side, suitcase handle pops up, wheels spring out. And look at that. Look at that. What we have here is a 5.6 kilowatt hour pack, one on each side. The car does need two in it in order to work, which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice if you could just buy one and save some money. But actually, you don't need to buy these at all. You can sort of lease them from Silence, which reduces the cost of the vehicle by some 40%. Nice touch. And these are useful in all sorts of ways. Number one, you can wheel them into your house, plug them in via a domestic socket, meaning you can have home charging even if you don't have home charging. That's fantastic. That being said, you can also charge it the old fashioned way, like a normal car. From the front, little cable in there, there's an adapter uh, to use public speedy chargers as well. But ideally, you're just wheeling one of these into your house, plugging it into the mains, going to bed at night. That's a lovely, lovely touch. In addition to that, they've got a really interesting kind of home power system that they're working on where you essentially use these like a Tesla power wall to run your house, um, feeding off excess energy that you potentially generate from your solar panels. And on top of all of that, you can get a special inverter for one of these, which you plug into it, and then you've got a couple of domestic power sockets and you can bring it, you know, to your campsite when you go camping and still bring your, your PlayStation and your telly and your hairdryer, which is fantastic. It's also the exact same battery as the one that goes into Silence's scooters. So if you have one of these with two batteries, you don't need to buy a battery for the scooter. What I would say, Silence, can we have a slightly longer handle? That would be my one thing. Those two batteries combined, by the way, good for 149 kilometers of range, which is what, 92 miles? Big range for a little micro car. I like that. And I like this too. In the back here, we have 200 
257 litres of boot space. 257 litres and a little teeny micro car. Granted, it's quite a tall, thin space. You're going to need some quite tall, thin objects, but it's really deep. It goes all the way down here. It's a good bit of space, that. Practical. <laughs> So, is it any good? Is it more comfortable than some of the others that I've driven? Let's give it a little bit of beans. We've got a nice bit of camber there. I'll tell you what, that is a little more refined in its suspension than a fair few of the others. I'm not sitting here thinking, good Lord, I'm in a Rolls Royce. But it's just got that little bit more sophistication, that little bit less crashiness. And I go over a pothole like that, for example. And that is the difference between being happy to drive one of these things for 20 minutes, and an hour. And that is the problem with a lot of these micro cars that we feature on the channel. They are lovely little things, but if the drive is more than 30 minutes, you're gonna, you're gonna be tempted to take the big car because they are a little cramped and they are a little bit bumpy. This one, however, I have an abundance of space in here. It's a little bit more comfortable, but I still have all those micro car advantages. Outrageously good visibility, compact dimensions, the fact that all of a sudden driving down a narrow street is fun instead of stressful. And what adds to the sense that this is a micro car you'd be willing to go a little bit further in is the performance and range. Because if I slip it into sport mode now and give it a little bit of beans, yeah, I think it's got almost 20 horsepower, this thing. It's fairly speedy. It'll comfortably get up to 55 odd miles per hour. It is legal on the highway, believe it or not, although I'd stay in the slow lane if I were you punchy and of course a generous helping of range with those two 5.6 kilowatt hour batteries that i'm sitting on silence reckons it'll do 150 kilometers i reckon that's probably likely to be true given that it's got a fair amount of battery matter and only weighs 400 and something kilos of course if you wanted to go further you could just throw a third battery in the boot i just love this type of vehicle so much as a lifelong city dweller you get in something like this and you go oh what have we been doing all this time. Why on earth are we driving full-size cars around cities? This is the way to get around the urban environment while staying warm and dry and with a bit of crash structure around you. And what's really strange is vehicles like this are such a common sight here in the Netherlands and in many other parts of Europe. If you go to Amsterdam, every street corner has three different micro cars parked on it. Except, of course, up until recently, most of them have been powered by nasty, noisy little two-stroke petrol engines. No longer. Now, interior of the Silence S04. Bearing in mind, this micro car is pitched as a plush micro car, a posh micro car, a slightly more expensive micro car. So does it feel a bit plusher and posher than the others in here? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty nice. First of all, it passes the funk test with flying colours. That's a nice funk. It is a nicely put together thing. You can tell that Silence have had some practice building stuff, what with all those scooters, because it is pretty solid feeling. It's well put together. And you can really tell they've made an effort to make this a little bit nicer than the average micro car in here. We've got a little bit of red stitching on our steering. We've got a little bit of this perforated stuff going on here. These boys here in the door and these sort of interesting looking door handles. There's a powerful heater pointing at my hands right now. That's quite nice. It is quite pleasant. I would say a little bit more luxury than the typical micro car. Lots of space as well. That's nice to see. This seat is adjustable. It goes way forward if you're very small or all the way back if you're weirdly big. And this is good as well. We've got staggered seating. So the passenger seat is actually behind the driver like in a McLaren F1. And that means that the passenger gets huge amounts of legroom. It also means that this footwell is useful for popping a shopping bag down, even with a passenger sat here, look. And there's more space here. This is a really nice little cubby on the dash, which is kind of um, curved just so to hold your handbag, just nice. Lots of useful buttons. Look, we've got multifunction steering wheel. You don't see those on many micro cars. Bank of buttons across here to control mostly heating functions. And this is great as well. This is very similar to what I saw in the Citroen EC3 the other day. No big infotainment screen, no. Just a well-designed phone holder. You can have it portrait, you can have it landscape. It's got every cable fixture imaginable built in. You plug your phone in, you use it for nav, you use it for music, you change your tracks using the multifunction steering wheel. It's all you need. 
Useful little digital gauge cluster here. I like the fact that it shows me my battery percentage for my left and right batteries individually. It makes me feel like I'm in a pod racer or something. And this is good as well. As I cycle through the different modes, city, sport, eco, immediately my predicted range figure adjusts uh, in accordance with the mode that I'm driving in. That's a nice touch. And this is nice too. I just love knowing that I'm sitting on top of those removable battery pack. It's a clever little bit of packaging, this. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is a charming little micro car. And I say that as someone who's driven more of them than probably anyone else on this planet. Useful range, zippy performance, and just a sprinkling more creature comforts than you would expect from a vehicle of this size and price. But let's not lose sight of the star of the show here because it's this. It seems like every new microcar has a gimmick, but this, this is so much more than a gimmick because this means that you can own one of these for so much less simply by not buying the battery. But if you do buy the battery, it means that you get to charge at home whatever your living situation, whether or not you have a driveway. It makes this vehicle perfect for ride sharing schemes because someone can just go around in a van at night and pop fresh batteries in. But my favorite part is the way that this makes your car battery more than your car battery. It can be your portable power pack when you go camping. It can be your home energy storage solution when you're at home. That is a brilliant piece of design. And it speaks to a philosophy that we want to see so much more of in the car industry, of making the absolute most out of not very much. So there we go, Silence S04, a very well thought out little micro car with a party trick that is so much more than a party trick. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have been, thanks for watching.